A few years back, I met a British man who told me of a crazy scheme. In short, he learned the Russian language, would make fake social media accounts, contact as many women as he could in countries like Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia, then go on sex trips. Now, I'm not one to judge if he wanted to get laid, but the problem was that when he would return home from his trip, he would erase the profiles, leaving these women no recourse to contact him. And the really disturbing thing is that this British man's practice is not an isolated incident in the reputation of Russian women. Try Google image searching Russian women. The results will be very suggestive, loosely moral, and so on. What perhaps is most disturbing is that most images and content on the internet suggest that Russian women are so desperate that they would literally fly across the world to marry a stranger. These stories and images in the media made me very curious. Are Russian women actually desperate or are men simply sex-hungry pigs? So in today's episode of Cult America, I sign up for a Russian dating service. So my week started by opening a dating profile on a very popular Russian dating service. I kind of expected that I would get a lot of emails and requests from people. You know, this is based on the images I've seen in the media, but to my surprise, I only received two correspondences from women, and both of them appeared to be a spam bot encouraging me to pay for the premium service so that I'd have the luxury of writing them back. I decided to be a little bit more proactive and I started to write as many women as I could. Some of the women wrote back and they were very honest, open, polite. None of them seemed desperate, actually. Most of them just seemed maybe a little bit curious. This really, really debunked so many of the myths that I had believed when I signed up for the service. Also, it seemed to be a requirement that the man courting needed to take active interest in Russia and Russian culture. This would exclude many arrogant foreigners who generally don't have an interest in anything other than the physicality of the woman. So having basically ruled out the idea that Russian women are simply desperate and looking for a husband, I went ahead and made a dating profile for my own wife who posed as a Russian woman looking for love. Within the first few hours, she received over 100 emails. Men from all walks of life, different parts of the world contacted her. And what was really interesting is that none of the correspondences were sexual, vulgar, deceptive. The proposals looked very much like a proposal you might see when you try to meet a woman on the street. You know, guys get a little fumbly and they say, uh, what time is it? Because they don't know how to break the ice. These messages were very much the same. My friend Irina even had an interview, like a Skype call, with one of these men, and he was full of class and he was very knowledgeable about Russia. I just wanted to ask you why do you why do you want to, to have Russian women? Because we are nothing special. Why do you want to have a European man, Belgium? No. Same question. I like the mentality of uh, the Russian woman. The Russian woman they care for uh, the relationship. Uh, they they have one man and they, they yeah, you do everything for the uh, relationship. You are looking and decide for who? Is it uh, love <clears throat> or is it marriage? Yes, I look for a serious relationship that can end in a marriage. We can always start to apply it in the official way to, to live in Europe. But at that moment, I need, first need to see, we need to see us and we need to feel if we are in love, yes or no. Now this obviously was not a scientific study, so I wouldn't rule out the idea that there are sexual predators or women who are looking to use men for green cards on these sites. But what I did observe was an honest seeking of love, companionship, company. These basic human necessities that we all need and many people are without. I think this experiment really taught me a lot about stereotypes. And one that I have to brutally confront is the fact that I, an American guy, received no correspondence from women. Whereas my wife, posing as a Russian woman, received over 100 emails. This would indeed suggest that if we're using the word desperation, it's not necessarily applicable to the Russian woman. On the contrary, 
I think it's applicable to the Western man. Little fun trivia, I actually met my Polish wife through the internet, not on a dating service, but all the same. I've been living in Warsaw proudly ever since. If you want to meet my wife, Kasia, click this card, subscribe to her YouTube channel, and other than that, you can also watch this playlist from my adventures when I visited Russia. Thank you so much for watching.